team that receives it. ready. All day, baby. Let's go. Let's go. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here we go. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in the field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now, the ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. As we said, they control their own destiny now. Breeze now on first down. Well, this is caught by Ginn. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? It's not a surprise when you read scouting reports and watch tape because you know he's a heck of a player. But he is so difficult to get down in the open field. They just want to get him the ball and let him do his thing. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Now Washington, and he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. And now the Texans want to call another timeout. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. Ready, 95, 56. We got 21, 21. On second and 11 now. Breeze. Oh, did he hang on to it? He did on the dive. Nice grab. The Saints passing game in sync and moving the football. It's a first down. Well, partner, when you ask anyone other than your QB to throw the ball, you must have a lot of confidence or you think you're really going to fake them out. And it looks like they did exactly that. Yeah, going deep in the playbook and a great grab on the other end. They go play action here on first down. It'll buy some time right. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but if they make them out of bounds, that does you no good. Ready. A line of scrimmage once again, the five as they get ready for second and goal. Here I come again. Here I come again. Kill, kill. Kill, kill. Whip, whip, whip. Here we go. A tenth carry for Camara. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. I know the defensive guys. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. A partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters <laughs> what you wanted, but how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here 